What's going on you guys? It was Jesse here in today's video. We're bringing together two of my favorite things, Xbox and 3D printing. That's right, I'm gonna be 3D printing a steering wheel that you can snap on to your Xbox One controller. Let's get it printed and see how it works. All right, so I've got everything printed up here and I'm gonna get it all assembled. I just wanted to go over the parts that you're gonna need for this. Obviously, you're gonna need the files that you've gone off and 3D printed. Uh, for the settings of this, I basically just did a two millimeter layer height over on the CR10, and I think I did 40 or 50% infill. Um, the only piece that really needed supports was the bracket that's gonna snap onto the actual controller. That I printed sideways and just used supports to fill it up and everything printed really nice and clean, which is oh so great. Uh, and also used some green Zealtec PLA for this print. You're also gonna need one of these little bearings. These are typically things that you would have thrown in a fidget spinner as well as some super glue so that you can glue the bearing to the actual holder. I should also mention that I saw this over on the 3D printing subreddit over on reddit.com. And this file was created by Pixel2 and it looks really freaking cool and it just absolutely blew up the other day. So I figured I have to actually give this a try and see how it works. Will it be perfect? Probably not, but it's still a pretty cool concept. So let's get it all assembled. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is take the rack, which I believe is this piece here and snap it into the pivot point here, which is this other little piece. Uh, this piece is what's going to help move, uh, go back and forth to help adjust the the wheel there. And then uh, this is the piece that actually snaps onto the controller. So you're just going to slide that in like so. can move it around a bit, as Pixel 2 mentions in his instructions, just to make sure that it's nice and uh, got some good clearance and movement in there. So once you're done, it should look something like this. Uh, this piece here is gonna slide on over the thumbstick of the controller. Next, I'm gonna flip this over so I have access to this hole here. You'll notice that your bearing fits in perfectly, nice and snug in there. So what I'm gonna do is, as recommended, put a little super glue in here, dab here on both ends and let this bad boy glue in place. I probably could use hot glue on this as well if you don't have any super glue. That fits very nicely. So the next thing we're gonna do is snap this rack onto the frame. So this is the piece that's gonna snap onto the controller. Uh, there is a little lip here that you're gonna want to slide this into. There we go. And this moves somewhat freely back and forth here. This is a little tight, we'll see how that goes. Next, I'm gonna take the controller frame and snap this on. Uh, the design of this is really nice, look at this. The, the bottom piece of the bracket, look at this, just snaps so nicely onto this. Uh, this fits perfectly into the charging port of the controller here. And then uh, this claps onto the back of the controller. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just position this so that it is slides into the thumbstick there. So this is what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna go this nice back and forth motion. Do, 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 do. So I've got this pretty nicely aligned if I go to either side, it pretty much, oh, except for there, recenters, <laughs> recenters to the middle of the, the, the controller. I think this controller, by the way, is also uh, maybe not the best one that I could have used <laughs> for this example. This uh, control pad is, is on its way out the door. All right, and then the next thing is you're gonna take the steering wheel portion of this and just slide it in. I'm gonna line it up and slide it in place. There we go. And my mechanism is here. Ta-da! That is pretty wild. <laughs> All right, time to put this to the test and see how this does while driving in Forza Horizon 3. Let's get to it. So 
So I ended up moving this over to a... So I ended up moving this over to another one of my controllers, and I have to say, this works a lot better on a properly working Xbox controller. This is pretty smooth, to be honest. Uh, and I could really get used to driving like this in something like Forza. Oh man, that's pretty cool. So is this perfect? Heck no. Is it awesome? Yeah, it is. So again, a really quick project that you can download, print, and snap onto your Xbox One controller and get playing with in just a matter of hours. So again, highly recommend checking out this project for you guys. Uh, I'll have links down below to, again, the file that you can print for yourself. Thanks again, Pixel 2, for providing the files and designing this. It's a really, really rad concept. Hey, thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If this is the first time you're watching the video, make sure to like, subscribe. Uh, do all sorts of crazy 3D printing, cosplay really good stuff, and I'll occasionally now do some Xbox related content. Actually, I have another Xbox video here coming up in the next day or two. But uh, hey, thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. All right, so I ended up switching over to a proper Xbox One controller that's working. And I have to say, this is working really good. Oh, other than my driving skills are absolutely horrible and my car is completely wrecked.